The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this November the 7th, election day here in the Newton area. We'll see exactly what happens. Uh, Tuesday, this is an interesting session. Why? Because we had a rally in the Dow right to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. You remember how I like to take uh, trend lines and if they can turn into mini channels, they become resistance areas or propellant areas, uh, support areas. Well, on today's Tuesday, on Friday, a big gap up run to the 34,100s. Yesterday, there was a slightly higher high with the 34,167, about three or four points higher. But with a tiny doji candle, look off at these huge candles. This is a tiny doji candle, which says that the momentum to the upside is slowing down. And I anticipate there'd be some kind of a pullback today. <clears throat> there was earlier on, the day is young, we're only 35, there were 37 minutes into the session. And we've already gone from the 34,026 uh, area to 34,096. So essentially it's holding. Now, I have a rule of thumb, and I have many rules of thumb, but the one in particular that says to me, don't get over bearish in a market that doesn't have bad news. If there is bad news sitting out there, um, maybe I'll just go to this chart just for a brief moment just to show you. Okay, right here, there it comes. Let me just type in INDU for the Dow, and then I'll show it to you. In this particular instance, I had this um, horizontal rectangle formation and I said, within the context from November of, let me just get out of this, November the 11th of 2022, Chap Chapman Wave Dark News Cloud Cover said that every time we get, um, there's always bad news out there, but whenever the bad news starts to come from background to foreground, that's when the market becomes really volatile. What do we mean by volatile? In the stock market parlance, when you hear someone say, the market is volatile. They never say it's volatile when it's just going straight up. They only say volatile when it's starting to come down. So volatile means that it's, it's becoming weak. And uh, and then after a period of time, after all these internal highs and uh, residual highs, etc., I said, you know what, I think this is going to be here for a long time. So I said, I'm going to put this in as a rectangle formation that just says for quite a period of time, until we start to trade decisively above it, which we did back in going to the August uh, period. And then uh, July 26, I typed in here DNCC, meaning dark news cloud cover. And then we keep kept coming down. And then I also do a lot of work with internal lows and residual lows. And the only reason why I had this written in, and I had this kind of as a question mark sitting out there. I didn't know when it would occur. The only reason why I didn't fully uh, embrace the, the the low of Monday, on Monday, but I did Tuesday, is because that's Monday uh, the 28th, 9th. Um, oh, what was that Monday? 27th, 27th, let me double check. Yeah, 27th was Friday, and then of course we had that gap up on Monday. Uh, so. The only reason was because the VIX index didn't do what would have been a perfect plan for me. It doesn't mean to say it, it failed. It just didn't do what it normally does and skyrocketed, in this case, up into the high 20s. It did 23 just pre prior to that. Um, and therefore, the rally that took place on Monday meant that I had to reconfigure and redecide on Tuesday. So on Tuesday... I said, this is bullish short term because we are so oversold, it's bullish. And um, so I have to consider under the, the norms that I I usually work this internal low and residual low, that that was a residual low. That doesn't mean to say we couldn't have another series of lows to come, but it does mean that that was so powerful 
that you have to respect it as the trigger for not just short covering, but new buying. So just, I wanted to explain that. Why? Because under these conditions, the dark news cloud cover says, unless, just go back and look at every one of those dark news cloud covers. We're talking about inflation. We're talking about uh, higher reels. We're talking about China. We were talking about, uh, back in the day, it was impeachment. Then all of a sudden it became other things. Uh, then it was war. It's all sorts of things. At this particular point, I don't see that any, I see it as a kind of a, a little cloudy, but not a dark, it's not that heavy, heavy cloud. So that just says it releases buying in the market. Therefore, this trend line, which has been so, so excellent as being a repellent zone, is being challenged right now. The stochastic has finally got to 87%. That is very positive. The MACD is expanded. The on-balance volume is rallying. It's not overboard anyway. It's just rallying. The gray line right here, that's relative strength. This is all the Dow. I'll go to the others. But this is a good sign. And that just says that you've got to expect. Now, another thing is when you go from a low, and at this particular point, I have no choice, even though it's only a leg A, to the upside, I have to put in an up arrow. It could fail. It's done that before. Not often, but it does it. But when the stochastic holds above 80%, no matter what the leg, I have to consider this is a pretty serious uptrend, right? Now, why am I making a big deal about this? Because the stochastic was way down there. The speed with, with which it's gone from under 10% to over 80%, almost at the 90% level, is admirable. I like that. So within that context, uh, what we're looking at here is that the weekly chart has got the pattern that I call the falling axe. And if the um, weekly chart shows a trade between 34,350 and 34,500 on a closing basis, that's even, I'd like it on a closing basis, not intraweek, but on a closing basis, just once going up to that level, that actually helps a lot in saying there's now a chance that the Dow daily chart. I don't know if it has to necessarily go to a peak D, although I've got a buy mode in place and it's only an A. That's really unusual. But I have to follow my, my technique. My technique says if the 9 period moving average is positive, if the MACD is positive, if the stochastic is well over 80%, in this case 87%, and the unbalanced volume is rallying, that's the blue line, and the relative strength index is moving up, you've got to respect that as the chance now for the first time to start breaking to the upside. Now, another thing is, very often in the single leg A to the upside, depending on how deep a pullback is, you don't have to go one to one. In other, in other words, 2,000 points from the low, let's call it uh, 1,800 points. From that low to 1,800 points upside, um, that's not necessarily the way it works. You could actually start to make an A, then pull back, make a nominal B, then pull back, even go to a C and a D without really breaking out. So this is a fabulous start. But I'm calling it aside. Now, I don't want to take too much time. I want to go through the others. It's almost the same thing. This is a leg. Eight to the upside. Uh, oh, I think it's a peak. Yes, it's already a peak. A eh? um, the upside. All you have to do is go above eight at uh, 43 72, 62 by one penny. And that starts leg B. So I'll be back. Um, just want you to give you the background to what I'm looking at. I'll be right back. That's what I've been doing. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Tigers, every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Moore joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. 
In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors bull bear ratios, and the trend panic levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hello, oh, so D-Dog is a data dog Inc. Uh, security platform for cloud application. I love the fact that it's up $22 at 102.20, up 28%. These these uh, particular stocks were being pummeled, and over the period of the last two or three weeks, we started to see stocks like Shopify, all the ones that were just, I mean, they were decimated. 176.29 in November of 2021 goes down to 23, and this is with a split. It was a stock that was trading at, I don't know, 3,200, I don't know what it was, but it was a huge number. Then it got, it got split. I probably could find it here because I always keep some of the numbers here because I have to renotate everything. Will I find it? Yes, there it is. So G slash C, uh, oh, but that was under the different numbers. Uh, huh. I didn't put any numbers. What I put, usually I'll have a number there like an apple when it got split. Was it? Yeah, look, yeah, I got all the apple numbers when it goes. So 134 back in April the, uh, 2015. So split. On that particular day, the 20th, uh, 420. 420, where is 420? Right there, uh, 430, okay. Um, uh, 33 was the high, 30 was the low. I'd have to do that. It just tells you where it was. and uh, anyway. So with that in mind, I, the fact that you start to get the stocks that were just decimated, this is very important to me because it's telling me that the rally that... Uh, it should unfold at this part, this particular phase going into maybe November, December of 2023 has now included the stocks that were absolute failures. And even ARKK, which really symbolizes everything that was wrong, if I can type it in the right place, that's a C, uh, uppercase C. This is ARK. There's an ARK Innovation. I said to subscribers, it's on our list because it's a nice, easy way to play everything. If, if that sector, that is the beaten down sectors that includes uh, 3D systems, etc., cetera, um, she has money in all sorts of things as Kathy Wood. If this is going to work, I want to see these participate as well. And that would include the IWM. 
And the IWM is still lagging very badly. So it's going to be very, it's still very selective. All right, I just want to get that out the way and go back to what I was looking at. So let me just do this quickly. QQQ um, uh, has crossed positive. It is right up against the Chadwick Inside Track repellent zone. It's been there umpteen times uh, over the past since the high that was made, the last high that was made back in uh, July at 387.98. Look how many times this has been a barrier. I love this technique. I developed it years ago. I, I haven't really seen it anywhere. I don't know why people don't use it. It just it tells you this is this is the area there where you, you're either going to break out or you're going to pull back. It's just as simple as that. It's nice and visual. And it tells you, pink says, this is the red area that says, okay, um, that's where it's, you got to be careful because it could pull back. And green says, whoo, 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 not me, buddy. I'm out of here. And that's really good. All right. And you've got the same thing here in the weekly chart of the QQQ uh, trading up $1.80. Now, I want to see the QQQs come back. I want to see uh, the Googles. Nah, it's acting okay. Amazon, much better. Amazon's acting pretty well. Um, Apple, uh, Amazon is up uh, two and a half at one forty-two. I like that. Apple is up a dollar oh nine at one eighty point thirty-two, and the next resistance will be right here uh, at one hundred and eighty. 2.14 and straightening at 180.34. Um, and that, actually, if we can go above that, you suddenly start to get the cup formation that says, hey, very good. Um, but it hasn't done that yet. But it's, it's in the process of attempting it. Uh, Microsoft, that was asked about Microsoft. Microsoft is up three today, 359.52. Look, yes, this cup formation. Um, that I drew in some time ago. First, you get the H pattern, the dreaded H, which was successful. It did go under it, but then it closed above it. When that starts to break and then close above the arch high, this is a technique that I teach. If you take, if you sign up for my service, you'll also get umpteen webinars. They discuss all these different techniques. The H pattern becomes a beautiful cup formation, which says there's a chance you can go to the previous left side high. There is nothing here until you get to the 366.78 high. Of um, of July was that July? I forgot to type it in. Mm. July, the week of the twenty third, and that says you go into the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone in the monthly chart, rising wedge formation, <clears throat> which should take you just above. Maybe it depends when it happens. That should take you to about three sixty seven, three sixty eight. Um, oh, I should mention that uh, we are long, and. Uh, this is doing very nicely so far. And this look, this is a single leg uh, up, uh, and the MACD is strong. The nine pre moving average is strong. The on balance volume says be ready at any point. You could have a little bit of a pullback. Uh, the stochastics at ninety six point forty percent. I mean, more more bullish than this you couldn't get if it stays flat. If the stochastic starts to pull back quickly under eighty percent, this thing's going much lower. So so far, that's that's a good. It's a, it's a, a Dow stock, an S&P stock, an XLK stock, that's the S&P select um, tech sector. It is the uh, QQQ. Did I say that? Yep, QQQ. It's, uh, it's not in the semiconductor index. And that's another thing. Look, the semiconductor index, um, right at the inside track repellent zone, I have this move that says in a parallel it's not, it, it is rallying, but it's not quite as parallel as it shows right here. And that says the 150.50 area would be a target. And where are we right now? 150.40. So it is, it, it's, this is a gray A. Uh, why is it a gray A? Um, just for the moment, I'll make it a gray A. Yeah, I have to wait for the session to finish. Uh, stochastic is now at 82%, but the, the day hasn't closed yet. So let's just see what happens there. Unbalanced volumes are very good. So the semiconductor in this down channel of the weekly chart says, if at any point, and now you've got Intel starting to move for the very first time uh, since it made that, went under the 200 period moving average, it's had a move in that H pattern, not quite an H pattern because it went too far lower, but that doji candle high of the 12th of October of 17.22, 
for four days. Now it's closed at five days. If it closes above it today, five days it's closed above it in leg C. And that's really good. I'd love to see the rotation so that now you're seeing the laggards start to move because what it says, and I now have to give it a buy mode, meaning that uh, Intel, INTC, trading at 38.49, up 54 cents, uh, is a participant in the rally. To me, all of this is really important. Let's look at GE, uh, GE right here. GE is rallying. Um, it had a fantastic move. Uh, this is that like a little worm climbing a tree, just didn't budge. Higher highs, higher lows. High, basically, higher highs, higher lows. Just on and on and on for weeks, for months. And then it finally took, made a top at um, uh, an end. Right there, 116, 1796. And that was the week of the 20, uh, 28th of July. I'll be back. Dow's up six, SP's up four. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians out. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hello, so what we're looking at here is, here's the E-mini futures. So I just wanted to show you, this is very interesting because um, sometimes the mind can play play games. Um, my thinking was that we would have a digestive session today, and we certainly had the digestive session uh, going from yesterday's close, we pulled back, pulled back, had a little arch formation. Look at the power of this 200-period exponential moving average. 
You just have to have these things sitting there. You don't need them. Look, I've got Fibonacci numbers sitting here. Don't need them unless you need them. And look what happened. We went, we pulled back, went under it briefly. This is the orange line. This is a 10-minute E-mini. And then all of a sudden, you get a peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, and a leg E to the upside. And now stalling a little bit, but this is broken out above all. This is the E-mini above all the highs going back to the 11.6, going back to yesterday's action so um impressive so if you follow the technique the technique says it doesn't matter what you're thinking follow what the price is doing price is the arbiter of the trend it's as simple as that your mind is not the price is because your mind is there saying oh wait a minute oh this or oh, that and that and the next thing you know uh, you haven't followed your own guidelines so in this particular instance what we're looking at is look at this green nine period moving average from seven o'clock this morning. Green, 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 green. Even that sharp pullback to the 200 period moving average in the five minute chart didn't change it to pink and it's still green and it's still moving up. Isn't that interesting? And this is after a move that we've had, which is, look at this. Uh, so this is GE acting really well. It's getting back into the rectangle formation. It's been a real winner. Um, aircraft engines, electric equipment, appliances split off with the G. I want to have even looked at that lately. GE uh, Healthcare, HC. Wow, that took a dive, huh? So that comes out as an IPO around about the 54 level, screams up to the 80s, pulls back to the 60s, and now it's trading at 71, just over the 200 period exponential moving average. I think this is, I've been watching it closely. Uh, ever since a, almost a year ago in December, um, I, I said I would love to get into GE, but it's about to split off. It's actually going to split off again to the air, aircraft area. And I said, I just don't know if we want to be bothered with having two positions and we have to work it out, what's going on. What a dumb thing that was because GE just split and it took off from that level. And then the split, even now the split is still, even though it's pulled back sharply, still way above the IPO price or the opening price from the split. So I like I like this. We don't have any position in this. I'm not, so far we've been sort of avoiding the healthcare area. But this is beginning to look uh, quite, um, I, I like it. It's acting much, much better. Uh, that's because of the move from last week and a lot of areas. Look at this. I'm going to go to the XLK. So you know, I should go to my questions. I have these questions. Yeah, so the XLK had this beautiful, as in me select, text spider fund. Beautiful one-to-one -to, -one to the downside from the 181.46 high around about July of last year. And it just keeps going up and down and up and down. And now this particular leg to the upside with a lower low means this also is a leg... I, this is very unusual. I don't remember. I have seen it, but not very often. Where the market low that is formed creates a pattern that takes out all the previous big moves up with lower highs and lower lows, and in fact starts to challenge the previous major high, in this case the 177 high that was made back in September, in the XLK, and that is really good. But if you're looking at, so I want to just go through, I don't know if CRM is in that, but look, CRM, this is salesforce.com. They always, the ones that are supposedly in the great, I mean, the, whatever the guys interviewed, he's just talking about how we are the dominant uh, player in the field and that we've got this contract and we've gone from X billion to six times X, whatever it is. And yet the stock has not acted well. And yet an IBM, also in this kind of the same area, is acting way better. So I thought about uh, just over a week ago, I thought, well, is it, should I go into, should I have subscribers going into IBM? Or what, what particular stock was the leading stock that had good earnings, that just was producing the goods in AI, in all the areas that are very important? And that's actually one of the reasons why I chose Microsoft. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, if you're looking at the home builders, the home builders have had a very nice bounce. But look at uh, Home Depot. Ah, it's just a, it's struggling to get off the ground. Look at Lowe's, L-O-W. 
uh, Lowe's is struggling to get off the ground. Um, but look at Toll Brothers. What a move. Toll Brothers, home builders, um, absolutely screams up to the 75.61 level in December of 2021. Plummets to 39.53 and then breaks to an all time high peak D E. I, this could even be an E slash C. I better do that right now because it's showing such strength. So, isn't that interesting? So, in other words, here again is where your mind says one thing and you say, well, high interest rates and all that. Wow, that should really be impacting. Well, it did impact Tall Brothers and Lenar. But look, it's trading at 80. What was the all-time high just the other day? It was 84.58, back on the round about the 1st of, of September. And here it is at 80.78, four or five points away from an all-time high. I, this market is, it is quite extraordinary in that the norms that we have got, become so used to over all the years of following X and then saying then Y should happen or A means that you should go to B, C, D, whatever, that those norms are not, they're not in play. They're just not in play. So with that said, I'm going to go to the question that came up. I want to go to uh, GBTC, which is the Bitcoin. Oh, I typed in the wrong place. GBTC, there it is. GBTC. <clears throat> and it's uh, made a little peak E right here. It's had a really strong move. And I remember for the first time in... A year or so two, I was saying about uh, four or five weeks ago, this is the first time that I'm liking the action in Bitcoin. Uh, and then I had a question about ETHE, what uh, ETHE, what notation is it for the weekly? So this is Ethereum. Uh, daily it's just gone to G slash C, but the way it's done that, it should still have a little pop to make a D. The 200 period moving average in the weekly chart, it went just above it, which is at 13.75. It's trading at 14.71 in a leg E. I could give an alternate count. There's no need to. Um, it's E's good enough for me. And a leg D in the weekly chart. But this was once in the 45s. Then it came down to the uh, fours. And now it's trading at 14. So I'm beginning to, to look at this and say that the idea of other currencies and in, in, in um, Bitcoin based areas, I think is in play. So here's another one, Square. Square just got absolutely lambasted. 289 once upon a time, August of 2021. And then it goes down to the, uh, to the what was that, a 39 area just the other day. And now it's trading at 50. And I love the fact this is included in that Shopify, the others. Uh, uh, that have bounced off the low and now say they, they want to participate. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Yes, it's again a uh, PLTR uh, less than Meta. So the PLTR is Palantir Technologies. Very nice gap up. Here's another one that that is in an area that says if this is gapping up and then holds the gap, then having hit 45 uh, round number high back in January after the three month I performed five month IPO, and uh, then slumping to five dollars and twenty seven cents, this is now in play as well. So look at the way it's held. After the gap up, it made a higher high the following session. And then yesterday, just barely fractionally, uh, the high was 17. So it wasn't, it was 8. Oh, there it is, 1908 and then 1908. And it had parallel highs. And then today made a slightly higher high. That says that 20.24 in the cup formation. Look at that, this pattern here. You see, have a look at this pattern in the weekly chart. Remember, we're all about patterns here. Look at this particular pattern here. You don't even have to know what it is. Look at this particular pattern right there. Doesn't that look the same? And this one has a price relationship that says by uh, the week of the 24th, 366.78 should be hit. So using the same technique, this says by the week of, oh, you've got to do this correctly then. So let me just do this live, and it'll say uh, to that candle, well, you can see that that candle wouldn't work unless it's going to be this week. Let's just be as conservative as possible. Let's just put that in there and put that in there. Yeah, that says that by this week or next week, 20.24, the high of the fourth, the week of the fourth of August should be hit for Palantir. But it's gone a very quick A, B, C, and this is leg D. And that just says 13.68, uh, 13.68. Yeah, it had parallel lows. So the parallel low means this is peak A, that's peak B, that is peak C, and this is leg D. Yeah, so that's the way I do it now. It's a, it's a little aggressive. I would have been uh, preferred to be a little more accommodating go to that peak right there to do the right side now the way we check it is to go to the uh, left side low in this case i have to use that low right there normally i wouldn't and that just says yeah that that coincides that says but either by this week or by about wednesday of next week palantir should hit 20.24 it's at 19.06 right now that's the same pattern that we were looking at because patterns repeat okay Next question was, oh, Meta. I didn't look at Meta. Um, I can't even say Meta. It's just hard. Meta is the former Facebook. All right? Facebook is in leg C to the upside right here. Right here. Remember, you identify the lowest low and then merely count each successively higher peak, even if it's only by one penny. 
and the stochastic's at 75, but the, the pattern says I have to give this a buy mode. So the low of around about 280, uh, about eight sessions ago, um, this is on its way. And the next resistance level for Meta, yeah, that's not quite the same pattern. So the next resistance level uh, will be <clears throat> right here. And that is the high of the 18th of October of 325.94. It's about six points high. That's a lot to go. Okay. So within that context, what I want you to do is just a real quick. Uh, I'm just checking the notes here. I don't see anything in the Tiger YouTube. Don't forget, you can type into YouTube I'll, if I see it, which I usually do. Oh, and the other thing is, I, I have, I do, I am getting my uh, emails. Uh, to t uh, Basil Chapman at uh, tfnn.com. Uh, let me just double check here. So, uh, question came in. Could I look exp? Uh, bxp. So bxp is that's Boston Properties, right? Um, yeah, Boston Properties. Yeah, it's pulling back. So this is a peak A, peak B. So um, Simon Properties SPG is a little different chart. This is different because they have the malls, and malls are really kind of coming back. So this is a peak A, peak B, peak C. So I, out of the two of them, Simon Properties, I, I probably wouldn't buy either right now. Uh, maybe I would in a day or two buy Simon Properties, but um, this is this is a much better looking chart than BXP, Simon Property Group. Uh, next question came in here. Where did I write it down? So, yeah, I want you to just follow up on that CFLT. We were talking about it. Did it, in fact, meet the criteria for the Chapman Wave volume price uh, climax reversal? So what I'd said is you've got to treat it separately. And the fact that it made a gapped up and then the next day after the gap up uh, price made a slightly higher high, and today's making a slightly higher high. What I said is, treat this completely separately. It is not, this does not have the 28-day rule at all. But just as a as my gap rule, um, Dave White used to call it a three-day rule. I, I have a, a part A, which is like a three-day rule, but it's both upside and downside, and then there's a four-day rule. So uh, the three-day rule would have said, if it bro broke to the downside, 14.69 was uh, the volume price uh, uh, climax day, and it's trading at 18.84 up a dollar 22, up almost seven percent. That's very nice. CFLT, whatever it is, but I uh, forget to Confluence Inc. Right, Confluence Inc. Um, what I said is, if it breaks to a lower low, it makes the body of the candle a really strong resistance, and there's a chance that it's not going to go to a new recovery high from the gap down bars high very quickly. But if it holds steady and doesn't make a new high, doesn't make a new low for one bar, and then the second bar breaks to a new uh, higher high, in other words, above the gap, gap candle high, um, and it closes above that, that's really good. And then it's almost impossible to find a place on the chart because of the huge gap down. So you have to open the, the, the chart to see on the left side, where would be comparable resistance points? Well, in this particular case, the resistance point would be the low of the 3rd of May um, at 19.87, uh, 19.87, right? So I, that's the only way you can really do it using historical evidence as your guide. Meantime, um, if there is a move and at any point it breaks above about half, I have to say about because it's almost impossible to say because it depends on the candle configuration. But if at any point it breaks above, in this case, I'd call this halfway mark at about 22.67. That's in between the 14 period moving average of 23.84 and the pink 9 period moving average of 22.10. If it ever does that, that's saying that the gap down was under false pretenses. And that now it's trying to find its natural buoyancy. That doesn't mean to say it's going to fill the gap. It just says that wasn't the price it should be at. This is the price it should be at. And then you have to deal with the technical analysis. If at any point after this move, it takes out the 40, it closes under 14.69, that is horrible action. It says, huh, all those people that thought that they could have a little bit of a bounce to get out, 
you've lost your opportunity because this is going even lower. All right. So with that said, next question came in. Wow, that is flying, isn't it? Um, oh, yes. I want you to go through that. U-R-N-N, uranium. Uranium is up to date with that arch formation. So how it handles, we'll talk about it when we turn. Dow's up 87. That's a set 60. That's a chapter. Take it in. Tires. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Tim Orr joins the Tom O'Brien Show to share his unique insight that he's developed over decades of trading. Now, on Tuesday, November 7th, from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Tim Ord will be hosting his own live webinar. Tim's analysis has been outperforming market returns by almost double, and his gold analysis is on track to be a winner as well. Tim will be delving into six secret ratios that every trader should know. In this webinar, Tim will be covering the daily TLT VIX, the daily and weekly SPY VIX, the American Association of Individual Investors bull bear ratios, and the trend panic levels. Tim will break down each ratio, how it is calculated, its importance, and how it can help you make bigger returns. It's as simple as this. Learn the ratios, trade by them, and see your returns. That's it. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up now. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Just wanted to show you this. Um, so using this, uh, this particular technique, look, from this, the daily chart, this daily, from the one-minute chart and the e-mini, the moment you broke above and went positive right here at 1021 at 4386. From that moment until this very moment that I'm talking to you now at 4400, it's still extremely positive. Isn't that interesting? But look at the five minute chart from when it broke positive back at 8 at 720 this morning at 4374. Uh, that is still positive. Look at the 10 minute chart. And I, I've been working very hard. And I missed it this morning. It was just, I, I missed it because of my mindset, not because of anything that was there technically. Um, I was busy with my newsletter and then I just I got too busy not being focusing. But I've been working on a two click system. In other words, you click once in, either a long or short, in early morning, and you just stay in that position until 
early afternoon. It could even be until the very close. It could even be just after the close that you get out. Uh, I would not have expected that today would be one of those sessions, but not expected doesn't mean that everything, all the criteria weren't met for that two-click session, which I didn't do. <laughs> and here we are. Look at this. Off the 200 period moving average. Look at this. Off the 200 period moving average. And uh, I love this kind of action, but I didn't like missing it. But uh, this is this is really nice. Just going towards the, the the paper that I'm trying to write on this particular technique. So, all right. With that said, um, going to the end of the day, the Dow is up 84. S and B is at 17. Now, you heard Jacob talking about um, Tim Ward's webinar coming up this afternoon. Uh, should be a fabulous webinar, and uh, it just. There are so many things that he does that you can use. They're all valuable tools uh, that he uses all the time. And he shows you the proof of the pudding right there. It should be great. Sign up. Go and sign up early so you can get in and get a good chance to look at what's going on. Uh, through the more this afternoon. I'll be back.